AFCON 2023 and the mighty Nigeria have won nothing second place <laughs> <laughs> and there's no one who's happy if you look at his head he's wearing something <laughs> on his head eh? today is the one day you decided not to wear your jersey Bini one eh? Bini one how does it feel to have won the tournament despite not being in the tournament since I, you, you were knocked out three times I told you during the the Nigeria game the second the, the second game of the group maybe not today maybe not tomorrow but we will school the Oga brothers. Oh, you did you did tell me that. What did you tell me after the equatorial game? Check, 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 check. No, check, no, no, no. no, check on Twitter. Check I, on your Twitter. I can bring evidence of what you told me after equatorial game. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I have evidence. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. And you are you you are <laughs> saying you can't wait for the coast to come to Kenya. Yeah, because like I, I I love I love my players. I'm a, I'm no, no, no. The tournament was <laughs> over <laughs> for you. Over. That's that's number one. Number two. In which game was that? They won two one. Uh, yeah, the Congo. No, no Congo. the Congo is Mali. Oh, mm-hmm. Mali at eighty something minutes. Mm-hmm. He, he was. Where were you? You had gone for a gig somewhere, right? Oh, yeah. And then what happened? You, I was, you I was put your dead. phone on silent. You're like, dead. I'm done. I, I am not dead. watching this team again. Yeah. But never say die. The next, you said die because you switched on your phone after you guys had won the game. You didn't even. You didn't even know you won the game. But anyway, congratulations, congratulations. Your team has won. No, yeah. I and, throw, and, a win is a win. And Ghana haven't, so... Guess who's laughing now? Makumi, eh, <laughs> what did you think of the final? What did you think of the final? It was such a lazy playing from Nigeria, honestly. It's like they put up their worst performance, their best worst performance. The best I've, worst performance. Yeah, I've seen them play better. Like, you know, there's worse, and then... Like you compare all the worst games they have had, not the best is what they gave us in the final. And I put this on Peseiro a hundred percent because the things we've been complaining about is actually what we saw today. Always leaving out Osimhen Apo alone, always on the front is what I have been complaining about. But, and it, was, it but, was something that was happening today. But Nigeria don't have they don't have the people to play from the midfield. They just don't have it. Okay, they so. Have- yeah. They have JJ Okocha's uh, nephew. That is where the comparison ends. <laughs> <laughs> nephew. But honestly, honestly, let's just be truthful. You go to a game like you go to Afcon. You have not made any counter plans on what is going to happen because we can't say at your Boniface. Boniface dropped out even before Afcon started. So you must have had a plan on going forward. This was the- And this was not th- it wasn't working out. This was it wasn't B. working out. This was we, I actually com- complained about this in the South Africa game. No, but this is the plan the same B. Thing. Think about plan it. B, how? They lost Boniface before uh-huh. the tournament. Uh-huh. First game, Yusuf, who came on, was stretched off. Uh-huh. Their starting midfielder, uh-huh. right? Stretched off in that game. Um, Osimhen, with his rib injury, he didn't finish the last game. Yeah. He hasn't. He hasn't finished the last. He didn't finish the last game. I think the, the last two games, right? Uh-huh. They realized they cannot play with a back four. Because Guinea showed them that you cannot play the back four. But UK today they played with the back four. They didn't. They you, did. Second they game. Did. Second game of the tournament. Uh-huh. They switched to a back three. They have not played anything else than a back three. Mm-hmm. This is their plan B. Calvin Basio is not starting in the tournament. But they started Calvin Basio all of a sudden. Mm-hmm. Um, Lukman was the preferring. No, Chukweze came on as a sub in the first game, I think. Yeah. Um, they didn't have a striker because Iannaccio was injured. Iannaccio today played the most minutes he has played in the whole tournament. True. So this was their plan B. Ola Aina, Zaidu, that's literally they were playing as full backs. They were told go play as 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 wing backs. Today Wakateza na back four. They didn't. It was back four on paper. You what in the back in the Actually no. See there's a point we were saying they're playing five defenders at the back. Mm-hmm. They had five at the back because it was Basu. All I was seeing was a back four. It wasn't a back four. This guy, he put okay, you looked at the formation when the game started. Okay, so you're you're saying what formation are they playing? They played with a back three, three, no, four. No, no, as in the whole, the whole, Nini. They played with a, the only time they played the back four was the first game against okay. Guinea. Okay, so today, you're saying Second they played game, with that three, four, three. They played that three, four, three because the first day they played, no, no, not three, four, three, three, four, two, one. Uh-huh. That's why Osimhen is alone Ozi. up front. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. The reason why they played that three four two one was the game against Ivory Coast. Yeah. The second game of the of the, their second game of the tournament, mm-hmm. and it worked to perfection. Okay. And he was like, if something is working, why am I going to change it? Because the biggest issue Nigeria had is that they did not create chances from midfield. Yeah. They could not create chances from midfield. 
Um, Onyeka is not a creative player. He will be a creative player, but creative further forward. The thing with Posero is he's so defensive-minded. He doesn't want to... If you put Iwobi up front, then that means you have to uh, give him the free role, which he wasn't. But Sasa, the problem with Nigeria has been... So far, it hasn't been the defense, because honestly, in my opinion, the defense has been pretty much solid. But Sasa, on the attacking side, is where nothing changed. Yeah, that's true. But then the plan they've used has got them to the final. Yeah, and, and then made them, made them lose. Morocco, Morocco, the Morocco final. got out of round of 16 with playing expansive football. Tunisia did not even make it out of the group stage. I Ghana didn't even make must, it out of the group stage. You must switch it up. We said this in the South Africa game. If they are going to play the same way they played the South Africa game, they are obviously going to lose. And shout out to Ivory Coast because they played such beautiful ball that we haven't even seen them play. And even the, the fact that they had the most possession, they had the most shots shots and shots on target Mm. like they deserve to have won nigeria they can't come here to complain about oh does does your coach now get a full-time job i i i i I wish and pray because uh after after like the the two win uh defeat by nigeria and the funnel bro you were beaten funnel in the group stages guy that game, bro, I was I was almost crying. So I, almost, because of death, almost, just because, no, because right, of just death, right, almost. Right. No, no, it was because of your team. You're not crying because of me. <laughs> you were crying because of your team. Yeah. So, so some things changed in the team. The the coach the coach was fired. Uh like the some some players were uh, the sorry the coach and Leona as 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 you work out Pomodia. Uh like you couldn't play Sangare. Uh, Fofana, like yeah. Sangare and Fofana and Casey, and Casey in, like in the same midfield. So actually, him bringing Serio was, was has worked was with them proper. And and, was and, good and, and Gradel be. and Max Gradel, bro. Don't treat Gradel. Such a bowler. Such he you you see since the funny uh, defeat <laughs> after like after after Morocco saved us. But they thank you Morocco. Thank you, Moroccans. I, I've seen someone holding up their flag given right now. <laughs> yeah, man, they, 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 are, they, are, they are lifesavers, man. Since, since, since uh, the, the Morocco saved us, uh, since the round of 16 game, Gradel has been so, so, so nene for, for our team. And yeah, I hope, I hope my coach gets a, a full time job. job. This how is, how is the other coach feeling right now? Yeah, he can go. Like, let me, let me, he can go. Me, I'm sure he's kicking himself and feeling so bad about himself because now no one will believe that he's actually a good coach or yeah, something. Yeah. Everyone's like, Yeah, you, you left and everything, everything was became good, better. Everything. And, and yeah. those are those coaches who only coach African teams. So they'll try and come to coach mm-hmm. in Kenya and to do a look. I took this team to, to, to the finals and. <laughs> Just say Ferrat, man. Uh, who, was ah. the best, who was your best player? Who was Ivory Coast's best player in the tournament? <laughs> Bro, Adingara. Uh, Max, Casey Max. was... Casey was... Casey was super, Bro, super Hala. Seko. Damn. Hey, yeah, Seko, my Seko was so good for, for some, for nah, some games. Seko, Seko, Seko has been there for all the games. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, Alea, he's, he's, and he's been, been consistent. Alea is the first three games. Yeah, yeah. so from uh, 2016, Alea has been there for sure. Grandel hasn't started, didn't start as well. Didn't even play in some mm-hmm. of the group games. All, all the group games he didn't start. Fofana has played every single yeah. game. Yeah, yeah, Even the 4 nil one, he was the only one who was trying to bring Specify people up. Specify which Fofana there too. No, we're, no we're not the goalkeeper, one. bro. We're, get, we're only talking about one that matters. Yeah, and, the, and, and our worst player is Willy Bolly. Willy freaking Bolly. Bolly is going back to Tingham Forest with the truth. N- zero pressure. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. Imagine. But, In fact, yeah. the thing is, Tingham Forest is not going to go I mean, uh, it's back. Sangare and, and Boli only. That's it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But because they sold they sold uh, oh, Sergio yeah, to to Galtier. Okay. Aina 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 I know Aina Brentford. Yeah. Aina. The Monyana Nene Monyana Kikombe and Rudi. Aina Monyana Monyana Kikombe and Rudi. Aina Monyana 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 First of I, all, guys, I just want to appreciate all the fans. And I'm yeah, sure you guys also true. appreciate the fans. 100%. Like you guys have this, we did a TikTok live and there were 20,000 people watching. That is just insane. Um, yeah. You guys made this happen. We, we couldn't and you be guys here without you guys. Sorry for cutting it there. Uh, you know who is our captain? 
the legendary Orie. Max Gradel Orie. and he's lifting the trophy. It's Orie. They're going to give it to Orie. You know, Gradel, I'm telling you. You know, it's my team. Okay. It's okay. not Kudu's team. Uh, to see it's again. not Osimen's team. So, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Osimen for yeah. having the a mid tournament but Bro, as he had a stink. His work was only yeah. dancing on the balcony after beating South Africa. Bro, hold that. Osi- hold that. I feel so yeah. bad for him. Osi- I feel so game. bad for him. Um yeah, I think to finish off, we just need to uh, give a big shout out to Alea because that finish, that's a proper striker's finish. We also it was an old goal. One of your strikers. You should don't should be talking about him, not me. Um, oh yeah, by the way guys, I had two strikers in the final. That was amazing, Osimhen and Hala, because they support both their teams. But Hala deserved this, honestly. He he has risen up to the occasion on multiple times. Mm. Uh, yeah, so, and, and it, it was just a matter of time. And it's so beautiful that it had to be him to be... True comeback story. Yeah, true. Like, just coming back from what he has been through to reach where he is at right now. I mean, my God. Yeah, the the real the real Ivorian hero man. Yeah, true. All right, yeah. So on that note, Afcon 2023 is a wrap. Shout out to Tuesday Kong. Uh, we have done all 52 games preview, yeah. live watch parties, recaps. We have done over 160 videos on TikTok, over 50 videos on YouTube, over 150 videos on IG, over yeah. four million people watching us on TikTok. That is insane. So we just want to say thank you, guys. Um, and shout out to all my Zambians. Can I sing? Oh, yeah, Zambians. you can sing. Uh-huh. Champion, champion, ole, 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 ole. Bye. Yeah.